Okay, sorry about that. When I have dogs, like for Marionette, I got two dogs on two leashes stuck together. And I was trying to get the one dog from out from under my chair. So that didn't work out very well. I hit the, the stop button on my uh, camera. So here's our items again. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, front porch setting, catching up, giving you life updates. We're talking about Alberto sausages, the little pepperoni sticks. They taste like shit. Don't buy them. If you like them, maybe I just got a bad package or something. But I tasted it this morning. I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'd rather have a Slim Jim. So anyway, I don't know what I'm going to have for my breakfast yet. Haven't decided. It's kind of kind of like too early, but I'm trying to get myself in the habit of eating a little something something when I, after I first get up and then have my regular brunch between 12 and 1.30 every day. So that probably today will consist of little red tomatoes and salad probably. That's probably what I'm going to have because that's what I got. And um, I don't know, maybe I have a hot dog in the fridge. Or maybe I'll make, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make a can of soup. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, so life updates. Y'all know I have a honey, right? And y'all know that he's younger than me. And y'all know that I'm an old lady, right? And the wind's probably in my phone, screwing up my, my talking. But okay, so. I'm insecure because I keep hearing everybody say, oh, you know, why would this handsome young guy want anything to do with you, blah, 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 he's using you, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, number one, he's from another country. Number two, he already has a visa for America, so he doesn't need a visa. Um, so he's not using me to come to America, no, that's not the way it is. And he doesn't ask me for money, no. You don't ask me for money. He, he's <clears throat> in the military over there. He has his own money. Not a lot of money, but he has his own money. And um, he don't ask me for nothing. He might ask me for my love, but he don't ask me for nothing else. So, But anyway, still, insecurity comes to the point where I'm thinking, like, you know, because I hear enough people say, oh, well, he's so good looking and you're older and blah, blah, blah. And then I got thinking, you know, like, oh, my God. You know, how can I hold his interest? You know, I get really insecure. Then I start bringing this stuff up to him. And he said, point now he's angry with me. Because he says, you don't believe my love, do you? And I said, yeah, I do believe it. You know, but I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. And anyway, this morning, me and him kind of had like a little bit of a blowout. Because he was really upset that I didn't believe that he loved me. And he says, oh, he's telling me... I'm making his mind angry by saying that, and I had to apologize to him and everything, but I don't know, it's so difficult, you know, and this is a different kind of a situation than I've ever been in before, because, you know, this is taking time to actually get to know somebody, we're not like, oh, you look good, let's just jump in the sack, you know, it's not like that, and to be honest with you, that's how most of my relationships started. Just a physical attraction led to a relationship, but the relationship always failed because it was fake. Yeah. So, you know, and how can I just say this? I don't know how to say what I want to say. So I'm just saying, you know, physical relationships are great. <clears throat> when you meet somebody, if you're attracted to them, you have that chemistry. But that's not what a relationship is. A relationship is getting to know somebody, uh, their likes and dislikes, seeing how compatible you are. Anybody can be compatible in the sack, you know. When the mood strikes, you do what you got to do. Oh, yeah, that was good. Let's do it again another time. But, you know, but to be compatible, to share your life with somebody, it's hard to find somebody like that. And I really think that I'm compatible with him. And he accepts me for my flaws, me being fat, me being older. And he's not like Mohammed from uh, 90 Day Fiancés by saying that I'm acceptable. He says he, he, he loves me that I'm my age and that I have a little weight on me. And he loves me because he says that I'm real. And he says a lot of uh, women his age are not real. You know, and I, I can attest for that. I, I know girls his age, and, 
you know, they don't know what they want either. And, you know, the fact that I'm older and I can't give him a family, I've had a hysterectomy, that doesn't really bother him. You know, it doesn't bother him because I said, well, you should be with somebody younger that can have beautiful little babies for you. And, and he says, no. He says, I choose you. So he chooses me over all that. But, you know, it's just hard for me to believe somebody really loves me. And it's fouling up my relationship because of him getting angry this morning. You know, and I can't keep doing that. I can't keep having my doubts. This is really tough, you know. It's super tough. You know, and I don't think that he cheats on me or anything. And I just don't think he's that kind of guy. He's kind of like, <laughs> to be honest with you, some of you would probably think he's a boring guy because... Okay, he, he's a soldier, he's in the military, he does his stuff, and when he's off duty, guess where he goes? He goes, sits in his temple, his Sikh temple, and he sits and he prays, and he, and he just sits there and he listens to the music, if they have music going, but he sits there, you know, and he's not, like, over-religious, like, you know, like how some religion, you know, religious people try to shove it down your throat, he's not like that at all with me, you know. He accepts that I'm not a Christian, and he accepts that I'm really not a Sikh, but I'm learning, you know, about Sikh culture and religion and stuff like that. And uh, he accepts me, which is good. And I accept him because I think that, you know, God will keep keep his life good for him. And, you know, the Sikhs call God Guru. And that doesn't mean this barefoot guy sitting there humming and chanting. Guru is another name for God. You know, God is one. There's only one God. You know, and because of languages and cultures and different different uh, people in different areas. Or somebody call, like, God something else. Like a Muslim call God Muhammad or Allah or something. You know, but they're speaking about God. There's only one God. Christians say Jehovah. They say Lord. I don't know. Just... But there's only one God. And so I'm just telling you guys this or explaining this to you because some people don't understand. They just don't understand. And, you know, I hope that I enlighten somebody who didn't understand. So if you hear somebody speaking about God and they're a different religion or something, and they call it something different than you're not used to hearing, they're speaking about God, one God. And I've had. I do a lot of uh, theology talks with different people. I just I like to talk about religion and stuff, and you know that's the uh, that's the thing that we've come up with. The consensus is God has many names, but God is one. So just to let you know, but you you guys are smart. You guys are probably a hell lot smarter than me. So you guys probably know all this. But anyway.